Hey you guys. <laughs> Today we are converting the kitchen into gluten free. So let's go. Hey you guys. So I'm back and today I'm momming it up. I'm in total mom mode today. I've got my mom bun in. I've got my crappy bra on. I'm not matching, but that's okay because today I'm cleaning and moving things around. We are converting the kitchen into a gluten-free kitchen today and whew, this is going to be some major progress going on today. I went to the store and I got everything that I think I needed. I don't think I forgot anything in order to clean up and put things where they need to go away. And I've already taken a lot of the gluten-free out of the kitchen. And now we're just putting the gluten-free stuff in. <laughs> So I'm not gonna waste anybody's time. This video is just gonna be me going through everything, cleaning everything, organizing everything, and then I will come back at the end and show you it all finished. I have no idea how long this is gonna take me. It is currently like around one, two o'clock in the afternoon. So who knows if you're gonna see a dark sky behind me later on, but <laughs> so yeah. Let's do this. So this is my trash can to put all of the gluten things that I'm getting rid of. I've already started throwing some stuff in there. So you're gonna see me throwing things in there periodically. And I am just gonna start from this part of the kitchen and I am going to work my way around.
All right, you guys, I'm finally done. Wanna know what time it is? It is 6.37 p.m. Holy mackerel. <laughs> I cannot believe how long this took me. I knew it was gonna take me a while. Whew. I'm pooped. I'm absolutely pooped. So, I made a little list because there were things that I realized I needed to pick up that I forgot. I, I knew that that was gonna happen, but such is life, that's just the way it works. This is my little list I got. I've got all these things that I have to go back out and pick up that I forgot. We've got some cake pans, a cupcake tray, a cookie sheet, which I just bought. <sighs> but we baked sugar cookies, like pre-packaged regular sugar cookies all over it. So epic fail. Um, I need a couple of bins for some spoons that I like to keep like on the shelf. And I need a couple of condiment type things that I forgot. I need spatulas because apparently the spatulas that I had could still have gluten stuck on it. So yay. And I want to get a new can opener because I think I did use the can for some, the can opener for some things that might have gluten in it. So I don't want to take a chance. And I need to get new little mini measuring spoons because the ones that I have had scratches on it. Yeah. So that's where I'm at. But you guys saw everything, the finished product. It looks really good. <laughs> I went ham, like I really did. Now my back hurts, my feet hurt, and I am starving. So I am about to hit the food, make myself and my husband some dinner, then sit and relax for the rest of the night because I'm wiped. <laughs> That's pretty much the extent of everything, you guys. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments below. Everything that I purged and everything that I cleaned, I got all of my tips and tricks from like a combination of a group that I'm in, YouTube, and just Google. Good old Google. I just really wanted to make sure that I wiped the slate clean. And this way, now that I know that I went ham and I went super, super careful, after everything else that comes in, it's all gonna be gluten-free so I won't have to worry about being so crazy anal anymore. And cross my fingers that this works. Anybody else do this massive purge for a celiac issue? Let me know down in the comments and let me know if I forgot anything or if you noticed anything that I might have like done mistakenly by accident. Um, any tips, any other tips that you might have for me, I would love and appreciate all of your help, so yeah. Oh, and for those of you wondering, this toaster is actually brand spanking new. My husband took it out of the box before we started recording and we put it in, so it has not even been touched yet. No gluten bread of any type or gluten waffles, nothing like that is gonna be going into this. It's a completely gluten-free toaster. So in case anybody caught that, I promise, gluten-free toaster. If you guys like this video, I would love it if you gave it a big thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any more future videos. That way I can continue to help you and share my journey with you. That's it, you guys. Thanks so much for watching this video. Until the next one, happy cooking and stay healthy. Bye.